Hogwarts Legacy certainly comes with its flaws, but overall it does many things well. Last time I talked about its worst features, but today I want to look at the three best features. As always, there's timestamps in the description if you need them. Ridiculous! <laughs> in Hogwarts Legacy, you can choose your character, house, wand, broom, outfit, pets, build, how to set up your room of requirement, and how you want to answer NPCs. Holy shit that's a mouthful. The design decision makes complete sense because the true identity of the game is for the player to feel like they are a part of the world that we have all known for over 20 years. That's what will sell and that's what people will mostly enjoy. People learn you could customize your character and pick what house you were in and they slap their credit card down for the deluxe edition faster than a Niffler going after a shiny object. Out of all the choices you can make in the game, they aren't all created equal. Some of them are amazing, and some I would hope to see some improvements in in the future. Character customization is good, but it's not the best. You can't really edit the face much, and some of the voices literally sounded like a robot. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. But they did really good with the hair, and at least there are a good amount of options. Choosing your house was one of the most hyped up things on the internet, despite it not amounting to much, unless you want to go to Azkaban or get all the achievements. Wands and brooms, I would have liked to see them be more than just cosmetic. Outfits were one of the best parts of the game despite them not saving with new gear. The room of requirement they absolutely nailed. One of the coolest features in any game, even if you weren't into capturing beasts, crafting, and decorating, you have to at least appreciate the work that went in there. The way you upgraded and everything was delightful for me, as I'm super into crafting games. And unlocking new rooms and recipes gives you motivation to go interact with other parts of the game. All in all, I think they supplied plenty of options for players to feel like they are a part of the world, like one would feel going to the Wizarding World section in Universal Studios and the dev's decision to allow us to interact with the world in a customizable way over let's say playing as Harry or Newt has proven to be the better option. The spells are fucking great. They felt like the main thing I was progressing the game for and were the source of most of the fun for me. The replica from the source material is incredible. I tuned into one of the avalanche streams and one of the sound designers was asked about the most challenging aspect of working with sound effects in the game. They were so focused on getting the spell reproduction just right and that's a common theme throughout the game. The utility spells are excellent, granting you a wide range of options to explore and interact with the environment. They offer not only practical applications such as moving objects and lighting up dark areas, but also provide a sense of magic and wonder as you discover new ways to interact with the world. The utility spells contribute to a sense of agency and control over the game's environment, making for a more immersive and enjoyable experience. One of the standout features of the game is the combat system and the diverse range of combat spells. Whoops, wrong clip. The combat mechanics are engaging and well paced, making each encounter feel exciting and dynamic. The combination of different spell effects allows for strategic planning, presenting the ability to create a unique fighting style. The talent pool is deep and constantly opens up new opportunities as you learn more, which keeps it fresh and engaging in the long run. Hogwarts Legacy's world is truly exceptional, with a level of detail and care that's difficult to overstate. Starting off in the castle, players are immediately struck by its size and faithfulness to the original design. The developers clearly went to great lengths to create a one-to-one -one replica, and it shows in every inch of the castle's halls and rooms. It's been really cool to see people comparing the books and films, first the game, to see how dead accurate it is. You're encouraged to take your time and really immerse in the experience. There's new discoveries to be made around every corner and that's just the castle. The world beyond it is also impressive with Hogsmeade and sprawling landscapes with cleverly placed details that make discovery exhilarating. The various villages and towns you encounter are all unique and meticulously crafted, each with its own distinct character and feel. It's truly overwhelming how much there is to discover in the game and even those who aren't fans of the IP can find plenty to love from exploring this beautiful masterpiece of a map. Graphics wise, the game looks absolutely phenomenal. It's so good people are wishing they had a 4090 by now and as far as performance 
I think it has been generally okay. Everyone knows Hogsmeade can be a nightmare with FPS, and there are some traversal stutters, but nothing that major. I have a 30 series, and I couldn't play on Ultra or with ray tracing on 1440p without severe stutter, but high settings looked amazing, so I'm not complaining. And yeah, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to subscribe for more content like this, and let me know your thoughts in the comments. See ya.